Hi, ESM. Welcome back. I hope you guys all had a great Halloween. I know it was a cold Halloween, but hopefully it was still good. Mm -hmm. I definitely ate way too much chocolate, but... Yeah. <laughs> So starting off to news this morning, President Donald Trump has threatened to fire Dr. Anthony Fauci after the re-election. Trump has expressed frustration about the number of coronavirus cases and deaths, placing the blame on Dr. Fauci. Meanwhile, Fauci has repeatedly claimed that Trump has ignored his suggestions for handling the coronavirus. Even though Fauci repeatedly said he was not interested in poli politics, he has expressed support for presidential candidate Joe Biden's plan for handling the coronavirus. Trump has been replying on Dr. Scott Atlas, who has no prior knowledge on infectious diseases, for advice on the coronavirus. On October 31st, Sean Con Sean Connery, the Sean. Scottish Sean, the Scottish actor who was known for his role of James Bond, died peacefully in his sleep. Only 90 years old, had an acting career that served for seven decades. Connery also won an Oscar in 1988 for his role in The Untouchables. Connery was also surrounded by his family the night he died, including his wife Michelle and his two sons, Jason and St Stephanie, or Jason and Stefan. Daniel Craig, known as the new James Bond, claimed that Connery denied an era and said he was one of the true greats of cinema. Not only was Con Connery a 20th century icon, he was also a longtime supporter in Scottish independence. Celebrities and citizens of S Scotland. Scotland have sent countries, countless prayers to the family and multiple tributes on social media. And last but not least, after weeks of trial pitting famed actor Johnny Depp against the British tabloid newspaper The Sun, the judge has finally ruled in favor of the newspaper. The Sun had called him a wife beater and urged J.K. Rowling to remove him from her fantastic beasts and where to find them. The New York Times stated, I accept that Mr. Depp put her in a few put her in fear of life, a British judge wrote, demissing the actor's liberal case on Monday. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, the rep from Harris Jones will be today for cap and gowns, class ring, and more. Stop in and see him during lunch. There will be a table set up at the Senior Cafe during all lunches. Seniors, you can now submit your senior quote. Go to esm.org and click on Senior Quotes for rules in the link to submit your quote. Do by November 24th, and if you have any questions, contact yearbook at esmschools.org. Now weather. See here throughout the day there will be lots of snow practically everywhere but up north it's a lot worse so we're kind of lucky that we only have a little bit of snow weather for today we have a high of 40 degrees with a low of 32 degrees with the snow stopping or later in the day and picking up from 2 to 3 p.m. Tuesday we have a high of 40 and a low of 31 then throughout the rest of the week it starts to warm up with Wednesday having a high of 58, low of 46, then the rest of the week having highs in the 60s up to 67, and lows in the 40s down to 43 degrees. I'm Grayson with your weather. Our battle of words you never want to hear again after 2020. Friday had Mask Me lose to Google Hangout slash Meet slash Classroom. Uh, go to our Twitter page and vote for today's matchup, Contactless Delivery versus We'll Get Through This Together. And now, Contactless Delivery, for some reason, makes me wonder about what they were doing before. Because like, if we're just getting Contactless Delivery now, were they like spitting on our food before? Or like, licking the boxes before they gave it to us? Or like... Yeah, what was that uh, very, uh, yeah, very weird. Yeah. <laughs> now on the sports.
There's no run down on that one. In upcoming games, the field hockey team plays FM. The girls soccer team plays New Hartford. Both games will be live streamed on YouTube by ESM. The boys will also be playing away at CBA, and that's boys soccer. The field hockey team beat Auburn on Friday 2-0. Both goals were scored by Riley White, and this win gives Coach Harris her 100th career win as head coach. Congratulations, Coach Harris. On Saturday, the boys soccer team lost in a tough match against undefeated FM 6-1. Eric Callahan scored ESM's only goal with an assist from Zach Schufelt. The tennis team got their first win of the season, beating Cortland 4-3. On Sunday, the Pittsburgh Steelers beat the Baltimore Ravens 28-24. The Steelers improved to 7-0. This is the second time in franchise history that the Steelers have improved to 7-0 on the season. Ben Roethlisberger threw for 21-32 for 182 yards and two touchdowns. For the Ravens, Lamar Jackson threw 13-28 for 208 yards and two touchdowns, but also threw two interceptions, which one was returned for a touchdown. Six MLB players received qualifying offers. Reds Trevor Bauer, Phillies JT Realmuto, and Astros George Springer are among top free agents available and are expected to reject the QO to seek a larger payday. And I'm John Williams Sports. Well, ESM, that's all we have for you today. From me, John, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great day.